Hello everybody, welcome back to our movie Mondays, week 15, and this week we are watching Spider-Man Homecoming. It took us this long to get to Spider-Man? Yeah. Come on, Marvel. Yeah, dude. I don't know if you stole any movies. Oh, yeah, it's fine. We don't two movies we, anyway. We just have, we're doing this one. <laughs> it's it's the one not, you know what? Here, here's the one here is the others. Look, I'll bring the stool over here. This we don't want this, this, I'm the script. Take the stool away, I don't want it. There it is. Oh, you you gotta gotta get the other movie. Oh my god, you do the movie. We have to get the stack of movies. And there goes Spider-Man. This is going in. This is going in the take. Says, you want to take? There it is. Movies. There you go. Woo! All, All right. right. Spider Man. This lengthy <laughs> pile. We will spend the next few months <laughs> going through. We're gonna stretch it out as long as possible. Wait a minute. That, that's all that's left. That's all that's left. That's all that's left. It's two movies. Yes. Infinity War is literally like this coming week. Mm -hmm. We will see it in six days. Yep. Six days uh, from I the can't time wait. of this recording. But besides that fact, let's get on to the point. Let's go to the point with Spider-Man Spider Homecoming. Homecoming, which in its own right was exciting. It was it very exciting. Out. It's um, um the first Spider-Man movie is. that they made in collaboration with Marvel, uh, as opposed to the other ones that came out a little in the early 2000s where they weren't, and they were owned by Sony, which this is owned by Sony too, but... This is a good... This is the but they actually collaborated with Marvel. Yeah, they, yeah. they actually did well mm -hmm. in this one. They did really well. Or Emmer being really awesome. I mean, it's not, it's not been out for a whole year yet. Uh, I, I will but. say the complaints I remember. He was not in his Spider-Man suits enough for me. I guess, but I mean, minor complaint. Not I mean, a, not but a this is a younger Spider-Man than what we're used to. It's not like he's had his powers for a long time like in other yeah. movies. He's literally yeah. just got his powers. Like um, they, they said in Civil War, he had it for like like what like a few months. months? Yeah, yeah. Like, not even. Like, yeah, that's he, that's pretty early. early. Also, in this one, this is going with more true to the, the comics rather than like the two thousand one Spider-Man where the web comes out of his body. This one is going with the comics where he shoots it from a web shooter that he designed. I still don't. I'm not a huge comic buff, but for some reason I watched a ton of Spider-Man things. Right. I don't really know how his web powers work based. Because he got his powers from a spider bite. Right. But he doesn't actually have any, like, really offensive spider powers. Like, he can climb walls, he's got spider sense. Yeah, yeah. But he can't shoot web. He has to have the web shooters. I mean, maybe, like, it develops over time. No, it doesn't. He, he always uses web shooters. Oh, okay. That's how that works. I mean, I don't really know much about him. He, uh, he, he, uh, that's why he's a genius, is he makes his own stuff. Like the web shooters. Hmm, okay. But then he also has, like, the super strength and the... Yeah, he has, he has super that. strength, super agility, uh, spidey sense, obviously. Hmm. Okay, um, yeah. But he, he cannot shoot web out of his way. Oh, okay. But that is the one thing that everyone thinks of him as, because of the 2001 movie. Yeah, okay. All right, well, well, well let's, we'll move on a bit. Uh, so, yeah, this movie, I remember being great, very good. It's definitely not the best one, I, but it's, it's, it's not bad either. I will say the trailer for this movie, I have not talked about trailers at all, but the trailer for this movie... Wasn't good in my opinion because it gave away all oh, the really? really cool stuff. Oh yeah, and the plot. Yeah, yeah. I still liked it. it and it, I like the movie. I'm not crazy about the trailer. Right. So yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it for this intro. But you want to say anything before we go in? Before she falls asleep? Yeah, like what? Eight o'clock at night? Like not even? Not even eight. It's like seven forty. Really good. Been really good. And why is that? Because the young Spider-Man's fine. Oh, and also we don't okay. kill his love interest off. <laughs> Look yeah, at you, you not, second Spider-Man in the region. I'm not a fan of his yeah. love interest, so. I didn't know what her name was. No, I think what it says. This is the second reboot, isn't it? It is. So it's actually the third and Spider-Man. They just recently re 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 rebooted it, like, yeah, not it, even, what, it, five Andrew Garfield years ago? terrible Spider-Man, though, I will say. Yeah. Yeah, it was not good. Um, but now we're going to watch the movie now, get your opinions yeah. on it, so. Get your, let's do it. Opinions. I want to see some crappy CGI effects in it. <laughs> I swing into action. I'm here now. What's up, guys? Hello. Uh, this is the movie portion review. I know that's awkward, but you know what? I don't care. It's very awkward. I'm keeping it in. By the way, spoilers! Yes. Uh, we're going to put this up because this movie is pretty recent. So, yeah. spoiler warning uh, for the first time probably in the series. Actually, not really. But, you no, know. I... I, I'm doing this one mostly because this one's a newer one, like Yeah, said. it's pretty new. We'll I'm do it for the next week, too, but yeah. Uh, so, with that being said, uh, let's get into the review. So, what'd you guys think? 
Very good movie. I have very little negatives to say, but I think we both struggled with the... But there's not much really to nitpick on this. No, it's, yeah, it really um, is. It's got good comedy, which Spider-Man always needs. It's got good action, again, right. which Spider-Man always needs. It has a very good comic book-esque um, hero to villain conflict where it starts out, they're really distant, then they get close with their secret identities. And then, you know, as they're close with their secret identities, they start conflicting as hero and villain. It's just right. a good story, and there's just so much opportunity for the other interactions to grow in there. How about what Pass it on to you so I don't say it. Okay, again. sure. Uh, so, yeah, I really like this movie a lot. I couldn't find a lot of negatives. I found a lot of more positives than negatives. There's a lot of good news. And honestly, now that I think about it, it probably is my favorite yeah. out of all of them. It, it, out of all of them we've seen. Yeah, I can, I'm not, I, I'm not even I, kidding. I can, it's I probably legit my favorite one. I, if, if I were stuck on a, on a desert island, I could pick like three Avengers movies. I don't know why that I'm allowed to watch them. <laughs> Uh, this would definitely be on the list of three. Yeah, it's uh, that good. It really is. It's very yeah. good. It's not, well, it's not my favorite. That's not paper, right? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's paper. Well, what, 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 what do you think? What, what were you thinking of Raw Thoughts before we get into the actual review? I mean, it was, it was a good movie. Like, I like most of the actors. Yes, yes, okay. okay. It was funny. But it, they had it, it, definitely, it definitely wasn't the fav my favorite one. I, I, I have to disagree. I so, think it's so definitely it my, my favorite. favorite. If not, it's pretty damn near close. I mean, uh, it's been really up there, but it's not my favorite. The thing is, right. I can poke holes in Civil War all day, but I can't really poke holes in this what? one. No, Civil War to me had no... Alright, well, anyway, before we just not get on that again. Okay. Uh, so, let's go into the actual opening like we go to do. So, how, so the this, opening, one, this one opens, um, what was it, eight years ago. Yes. Uh, di directly after the events of the first Avengers, the, mm -hmm. they're cleaning up the New York City area. Uh, of all of the, what are they called? The, they just call them aliens. They're called no, like alien but, technology. They, they have a name. Well, they're, they're, they're Chintarian. Yeah, Chintarian artifacts. The Chintari. Mm -hmm. They're cleaning up all of their crap they left behind in the city after the big fight with the Avengers. We're kind of left with that moral dilemma. This was a much better, I think, addressing of the issue that Civil War was trying to address. And yes, I'm still hung up on this, but basically they wrote this scene better where you know, we had a personal conflict, a personal issue with the Avengers causing these problems, cleaning them up and getting paid by the government to do so. And it, it kind of felt more scummy from his perspective. And you could relate to the villain and understand his plight and understand his motives and his goals. And it gave our villain a good thing to fight for. He also had a daughter that he was doing it for, that he was doing it for his family. Mm -hmm. um, he also had a really interesting perspective on how the world was treating him. And it's much better than the news saying, well, the Avengers caused these many deaths today. It's like, that's not the problem. The problem is more how they're kind of corrupt sometimes. Okay. Well, I still have to disagree with you on that. But I okay. know you will, but... <laughs> we already did that point <laughs> already. I'm going to keep, I'm gonna keep uh, scratching it. <laughs> but uh, I, I thought it was a great setup. Uh, definitely a more personal setup for a villain than we've ever had um, before, I think. I don't know, I feel like we've had, have we had more personal? Heroes? Well, I mean, like, you know, like, the whole we thing. Had Loki. Like, I mean, Loki, Loki was his brother. Yeah, but we, what I'm saying is, like, you know, it's... It, we understood the, right, the villain's right, yeah, right. Yeah, like, he, he, he pretty much was doing this for his family, and he's been all of his, I guess it's probably his whole entire, like, life savings, or most of it, to, to help, to you know, do this cleanup. Yeah, and then when they, they came in and told him, no, yeah, this isn't your job anymore. Yeah, he's like, come on, I got family, we well, all do. Yeah, and I got families, they've And they're families. like, I'm sorry, we can't do it, and he just, you know, he's like, well, I mean, what do you do? Like, What do you do? You, you either go broke or go big, and he chose to go big. Right, yeah, which, you know, makes sense in that kind of situation. I mean, I wouldn't really do it, but, you know, hey, it's just me. Uh, you're not a super villain, so. Yeah, that is true, I'm not vulture. <laughs> yet. Um, but, I mean, what did you think of the opening? That was good? Yeah. I just, like, I don't know, I'm just so confused about the time. Yeah, that's the thing that it's, just it starts off. Me. It starts off eight years ago No, but it, that's release. what I'm saying. So then that means it's, like, set in 2020, which I don't well, understand. No, no, so basically like, all, 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 these, all, these, all these are taking place in the present, but this one takes place a little bit a little in the future. ahead of us right now. But when does Civil War take place, though? That's what I was saying. It had to take place because it said, and then like it said, two months after he came back from the Civil War thing. So Civil War must take place. So basically, like, this, 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 so, so basically, what happens is you open it up with them 
right to the event, uh, uh, events so, of the so Avengers. We start with the events of Avengers, mm -hmm. which is right. So what the events of this movie are eight years after, after that. Yeah. So and so it'll be twenty twelve. It'll be twenty twenty. Yeah. So, so then two, then it's Civil War takes place. After, yeah, it's two months after Civil War. Civil War took place in twenty twenty. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty twenty. Yes. So go. then when does so then, so then, so the, then, the Infinity so, War so coming wait, up. It so takes place is, four years after. So Civil is, War. So, so, so is Black the, Panther after? Is that in twenty twenty as well? The, 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 yeah, they take place. The, this yeah. one, this movie, and Black Panther are pretty much intertwined with the timeline. They play, yeah. they play the same so like timeline. this is happening the same time as Black Panther, right? So so they're just in different continents. Twenty twenty. Yes. Right now, as of right now, up to this point, it's been present day, and now we're going slowly a little bit further into the future. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. How old is Spider Man right now? So he is. He's he was 15. 15, in the 15 in the movie, so it's 2020. Mm -hmm. So go back like two years. So he's, what, 13 now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me go back two years. Because it, it's 2018. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, actual yeah. present day. Okay, so he's yeah, like yeah. 13 okay, right now. Yeah. Oh, he's even more awkward now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, little Spider Pete. Yeah, he's I super young. Like, he doesn't look like. I feel like. I don't think he should have like 15. Like, if it was, like, maybe 16 or 17. Yeah, I feel like, like 15 was a bit too young. Too maybe. young. That's what I was thinking. That it was, like, it sounded yeah. way too young. Yeah. Like, I mean, I could see, like, maybe, also, like, 17 for, for, or like 18. For 15 and the nerdy, weak, scrawny kid... When any time he has a shirt off, he is ripped. He is like is, he is, is unfairly insane, yeah. muscular. Yeah, that's like, crazy. I, I am jealous. That's why I'm like I don't see how fifteen looks. Like yeah. here's my thing is I don't get how no, he keeps getting really slapped know. around everywhere. Have you seen him? You see how agile he is? Yeah, but I think the they're trying to show that he's only had his powers for months and I mean he's still trying to learn how to be Spider Man. Okay. So I mean for anything, like, you know, you, you gotta start by getting beat up a lot, you yeah, know, like the, getting your ass kicked, like he does in this movie, and don't know what you're doing, you know, like he doesn't even like the last fight doesn't even really do anything. He just kind of like web slings on him and like falls on top of him and grabs his yeah. little leg. I mean, he's, he's, also around. Around. he's also surviving a plane crash. Well, yeah, that's also awesome, true, but like it, in general, like his just combat style is just like he it's really all over the place. Of yeah, it's like, not really a style. It's just like him kind of flinging his webs around everywhere, whatever which way it goes. And, I mean, he yeah. seems to know what he was doing in Civil War. Yeah, but no, he kind of admitted to not knowing what he was doing. He was just going based off of cues from other people. Right. In quick burst, he does know what he's doing. He doesn't. I mean, he has like the ratchet time and everything for sure, and the strength and everything. It's just his combat style was not he, he's, perfect. He's yet. not too well thought out in what he wants to do, but he's good at like in the moment he can decide. Oh, I need to hold the boat together. I mm -hmm. need to stop the bad guy. I need to stop his suit. He can react to things. He, he, has, good, he has good intentions. He just doesn't know how to fight. He, he has good intentions. He's got good reaction time. Good strength. Good agility, but not good follow through on all of those yeah, things. Yeah, it's, it's that's it's, the trouble. But you know, it makes up for it because you know, again, he's really young. He just got his powers like not even a like, year. Yeah. So I mean, it makes sense. I I also want to say I do like that we skipped the oh he got bit by a spider thing. Yeah, there's, that's a, how yeah. there's a small nod to it, and normally I'm a big stickler for show don't tell. But in this case, we've seen it two times in theaters already. We didn't need it again. No, nope. it was pointless. It's kind of called Batman vs Superman. Knowledge. They had to explain the Bruce yeah. Wayne's death like, of the parents. Yeah. Yeah. Parents. Yeah. Normally, yeah. I'm a yeah. big stickler for show don't tell. Like normally, I would I would be like all over that line of oh I got bit by a spider. It's like, but this time that wasn't the focus. The focus was not him just getting the powers. He knew how to use his powers. The trouble now is the more grand picture of becoming a hero. Right. The movie was definitely really funny. It was. That, that it, was it had humor working for yeah. it. Now, that is something <laughs> I've heard a few people say they don't like is that the humor doesn't work for them. I have to disagree. This movie just has the. Okay, so I got a little bit of a counter argument for this. Oh, so this, this, this is a pro and a con. It's a pro and a con. The pro is that I love the awkwardness. And the dialogue, you know, okay. like there's like certain scenes where well, like they're, they're like high school, yeah, they're teenagers, yeah. they're awkward. That's, I get it, oh. but also it can kind of go against itself because if people don't like that kind of stuff, I they feel like they, a little bit too. I feel like they it, own you know? the awkwardness, though. right? Yeah, like, that's part of the tone, right? Yeah. But I can see, teenagers, but, but teenagers what I'm saying is, it's a it's, it's a pro and a con for certain people, you know. Yeah, so I'm kind of putting it in both ways. But for me, it's more of a pro. I would say it's a pro because that's what they were aiming to do was to make it awkward. And they made it awkward in a funny, relatable way. Right. So I'd say it's a good thing. Right. Anyone that calls, oh, it's awkward, a bad thing. I mean, I mean, really I, I can I can see where you're coming from, but to me, it's more of a problem. I, I I disagree. Sorry. I, I would say so long <laughs> as the intent of the filmmakers lines up with the overall feeling, 
they've done their job well. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, they're trying to make you feel awkward. And by making you feel awkward, as the goal, they completed their goal of crafting a story. Yes, they, they totally did. They totally did. Um... The villain I liked a lot, Vulture. He Vulture was, was great, awesome. awesome. He was badass. He, I liked the suit. Also, interesting <laughs> choice for a villain for to pick from the, from the comics. So we've gotten before we've gotten Green Goblin, mm -hmm. we've gotten Sandman, we've gotten Venom, Venom. Uh, we've gotten Dark Octopus. Uh, forget. <laughs> yeah. Is that it? Oh, we got uh, whatever the one in Amazing Spider-Man was, Electro Man. Yeah, Electro, Electro. I don't remember his he name. Was Electro. Bad, uh, like, Rhino there, was in there. I think. There's so many. There's so many Spider-Man villains to pick from. He has so many enemies. It's always kind of fun to see which ones they'll pick. And Vulture, I don't think I've seen done this well before. No, I, I didn't. I really didn't really know who he was until yeah, now, I, until this movie. I, I had a brief like knowledge of who he was from some comics I've read, and I don't read that many. Right. Uh, but he, I loved how intimidating he looked. I loved the green eyes. That was a great change. Um, I love that he had the leather like flight suit. Yeah, that, he wore outside that, that was really cool. I mean, it, it made him kind of look like a like a, like a fighter pilot or something. Yeah, like a jet dude. I don't, I don't know what you call it. Uh, I don't know how he went from demolitions guy to pilot look. Yeah, uh, that was kind of. <laughs> That's weird. probably what the eight years for to kind of master that art, I guess. Um, the craft. A any other things that you guys want to bring up? Uh, I had that Liz girl. Yeah, the Liz girl. Yeah, Liz was kind of generic and boring. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, the girl, Michelle, was to play by Zendaya. I just love Zendaya, like, in general, but, like, I like how she, like, plays the role in this yeah. one. Like, the, the, it was, like, really funny. Like, she was, like, she wasn't really a main character, but, like, when she was on the scene, like, it just made it, like, the scene, like, a little bit better. Like, it yeah. was, she was so funny. Like, she just mm -hmm. had, like, just one-liners, but they were, like, really funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think the last comment I want to talk about is, um, I kind of really haven't talked about this, this, uh, Peter Parker and Tony's relationship. Ooh. That, I, that was... That was a... That's all, that was really good. Really yeah, good. Uh, they they were really well kind of a flip-flop, but I love that about him because after three, he, he's, he's kind of on edge, I would say. Mm -hmm. Um... He's he's very iffy on what he wants to do, um, and I especially love the, the setup of this movie's got a lot of setup and payoff. But this this movie's setup of like oh I'm gonna help him, uh, oh yeah I'm I'm actually kind of busy I'm not here talking to you, and then on the boat saves everything. And yeah, P Peter is definitely shaken by it, and he he says a bunch of stuff. And at the end of his big complaints, that he says to Tony, um, if you really cared, you would be here. And that's when Tony opens up his suit and walks in and goes, I'm here. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh shit, I fucked up. Yeah, he's like, uh-oh, well, okay, he actually is here now, what do I do? <laughs> the ending was really great, too. Like, he was, like, setting him up, like, the meeting thing or whatever, and he's like, that's just a test. And Tony's like, yep, yep, yeah, you passed. Yeah, that was a test, you passed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and they pan around, and, uh, and like, it's like, like a crowd. I have, I, have a whole, I have a whole room of reporters waiting for some big news. Where's the kid? And he's like, he... We just made a really mature decision, and I don't want to... Oh, my oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, oh, yeah, it's ring. I'm a carrier since 2008. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> wow, oh, references. That's an... Uh, oh, he's yeah. been carrying that ring since January. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that's a good, that's a good movie. That's I love it all around. It was just so... It was fun. It was a fun movie. Mm -hmm. It was definitely really good. Take that, DC. Oh, boy. It, I, will, I will never not be mad at them. Mm. Uh, what else? Oh, uh, in credit scenes. They're, this is probably two of the best ones. I, two of my favorite ones. Uh, the first one being they set up the um, next film. The the um, uh, Sinister Six. Um, if you don't know, it's, it's it's a pretty big storyline in the comics. Um, I don't really know much about it though, but I know it's pretty big. It has yeah. uh, like it showed two of them. It had Vulture, Scorpion was the two it showed, um, and then you have Mysterio, you have Rhino, and you have. I don't know what the Doc other two Doc are. Is Doc Ock? I think Doc Ock is in it, and then there's some other one. I'm about to look it up. Okay. I found it. Um, it is Doctor Octopus, Electro. I right. Hey, uh, I was right again. Yeah, Mysterious, uh, Sandman, Vulture, and I, I was wrong about uh, Scorpion. I, but it says Craven the Hunter, so I don't know who that oh, is. Oh, Craven the Hunter. Oh, I don't I know, know who him. that is. I know him. He's he's a hunter that's obsessed with hunting uh, the world's most dangerous game, essentially. Okay. Uh, but wow, I knew all of them. I I totally called that. I didn't. Know. I knew like most of them. I didn't <laughs> it was know. just naming enemies from the Spider-Man Three movie. Gosh, that's a lot. That's <laughs> a lot of guns. It is. Was that movie trying to have the Sinister Six in it? I Which just one? realized the uh, Spider-Man Three with Tobey Maguire. Maybe. I feel I don't like know. it was because it had Sandman. It had, it had Sandman. Venom, had, it had, had Doc Ock. Yeah. I feel like it, we're on a tangent. Back to the good one. Back to the good one. With no spider uh, tears. Boy. Uh, but yeah, so that, that was a really good setup. 
I'm not really sure why they put Scorpion in there then if he's not part of it. I don't know. Maybe they maybe they want to make a new Sinister Six. Sinister maybe Six. unless maybe he was part of it. Maybe it's like the comics have some do weird you, lines where they think they'll have different storylines. Do you think Sinister know. Six will come into play into Infinity War at all? No. 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 Yeah. I feel like it'd be I, interesting to see them it, get it, stepped it, on. No, it'll definitely probably be in the next Spider-Man movie. But, but, but it think it about like all of them try to like be like, ah, oh, now we can rule the world and then just Thanos comes in and goes Boom. Yeah. <laughs> they just flick up that would for me, but no, I don't that's not gonna be in there. Uh, I, 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 I wish. I really wish. Um that's, that's, that's my have, prediction. I'm gonna have too many characters in this movie already. They're that's my prediction. Adding more, like. The main villain is freaking Thanos. Like, yeah, they throw uh, that those people in there. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. It'd be funny. Uh so and then that her um end credit scene was uh, Captain America comes on and he does his uh, little bit about like, you know, like uh, the best part about being a uh, war I guess we'll see. Well, best the uh, a soldier or a student's greatest weapon. No, okay, there we go. Or greatest thing uh, item that he has in his arsenal is patience. Patience, yeah. And I remember being in theaters with that one, and the movie <laughs> just came out, yep. and everyone was sitting on the edge of their seat waiting for the end credit scene, and then Captain America walks out, white background behind him, yep. and he says, "A student or a soldier's greatest weapon is patience," and everyone was like, "Oh." It's like so sometimes it pays off. Other times. You might be wondering why? Why did I wait this long? Or <laughs> something? Nothing. Like that, nothing. And he's like, "How many more of these?" Like, and then he's like, "How many more of these?" <laughs> it was such a good clip. They used him so well for that. Uh, that's uh, great. Uh, I like the part the gym teacher. Where they're like, "He may be like a war criminal now, but, but it's they're like by the, the, state. the state. Yeah, it's required by the state. Oh, no, no, just whatever do it's good." good. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, "Put like, well, I'm a, like, oh, yeah, I you're like, detention. Wait. Yeah, and he's like, he's so like, you got so detention." <laughs> Um, the, there was a little bit about puberty in there. Yeah, he's like, so you're going through puberty. Trust me, I know how that feels. No, no, so you're going through puberty. Your body's changing. Boy, do I know how that feels. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, gosh. I oh, love man, him so much. He is so great. Mm. Although Iron Man's better, he'll beat him up any day. Nope. Yes. Not gonna happen. I'll put on the suit. We'll put on the suit. Put on the suit, then. We'll put on the suit. We'll go with you around. We'll take off the suit. Where are you? <laughs> Man, trying to make a difference. So, yeah, I think with that, that being said, I'm going to follow the scores. Um, I'll go with you first over here. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, I'm putting a 9. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Uh, okay, just, all right, all right. I didn't... And then, and then Liz just irritated me. Liz, 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 Liz irritated brought, me. brought it down, huh? Yeah, she was she was so involved. Okay, I, can, I can see that. I mean, I know she's like the guy's like daughter, but she was just, I didn't like it. Either. Oh, also, before we go. She's so involved. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll find that Okay, go ahead. Okay, so, uh, sorry. Are you sure? sure? Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll come and hear you. No, no, I'll bring up Wagon Mass War, okay, so let's talk about something else. Um, okay, go ahead. Ooh, I'm really torn between two scores. Um... It's not getting an 11. It's not. It was nowhere near as strong yeah. of a sequel no. as uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 was. Um, but I really enjoyed it. I really have trouble poking holes in it. I, I'm going to give it a 10. Okay. I really, yeah. really like it. Even though I do have a few small problems, I might have considered lowering it to like a 9 or a 9.5. Right. It was. It, they were not that relevant of a problem for me to really poke that many holes in it. So okay. 10 out of 10. There Solid movie. Yeah. Great. Totally entertaining. Great characters, great interactions. Just wonderful movie. Okay. I, I will have to agree with that. 10 out of 10. Uh, it was definitely one of my favorites, if not my favorite one of all of them. Uh, I just liked, I liked it a lot. Uh, the characters are great. It's very funny. Awkward at times, but I love the awkwardness. Spider-Man's uh, awkward. The, the film is excellent. Tony and Pew's relationship is great. Um, I, I want to make it, I want to point out one scene in particular that I always remember from this movie. Oh. It was a scene where they were drive, he was driving him to the pro, the homecoming dance. Mm -hmm. That always gets me every time because it's just so it's intense. So, like it's they're just driving down the road. And he's just like, it's he's so like, good. hey, so uh, what do you what do you we you know, plan on doing after high school? And he like, starts playing, and then Liz like pretty much spills out. Liz what? pretty much points out, hey, you're <laughs> Spider Man. Yeah, like, and he's like Spider Man. Yeah, like and him. he's like this really. He's like. Are are you guys close friends? And he's just like, yeah, or, really, he's a pretty cool dude. And then like he's just like, huh? And then like he starts putting this it together so and, and he's like, wait a minute, I've, I've seen you around. I've, your voice kind of sounds familiar. He's like, no, you've never heard my voice before. Yeah, and it's just like, oh, it's so cringy. And then like the part, then like she gets out of the car when he gets to like, school, and he's like, like, I was like, whatever. Liz, yeah, see that's shut why up. I was, see, that's why I don't like her but the thing because she's that made so annoying. Scene so tense. Yeah. Because like the thing is like she doesn't know obviously and so she just how does saying she all this not stuff. put these pieces together? I don't know, I man. Just, I told you. I, I, love, I love how quickly he put the pieces. He's like, 
Wait a minute. Yeah, he's like, yeah. This, this is all kid, way too coincidental. This kid might be Spider. I'm gonna probe them with a few questions. Yeah. Like, so what, what? What are you doing after high school? You, you know, do you be Spider Man? And he's like, uh, No, I don't really have anything. Oh, he's got the Stark internship. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, see, yeah. that's what I'm saying. That's uh, why I get... Like, oh, I think that makes it so great because, like, if not, it would just made that car ride, like, way more or less dramatic, you yeah. know? And, like, the, like, if you would cut that scene thinking, oh, nothing interesting would happen between our villain and our hero. Yeah, it just would have been them watched. driving to the prom or whatever. That, that's what makes the big grandiose fights so much more entertaining is because they have that personal connection that they know what's at stake to mm -hmm. each other. Yeah. I mean, I know it's and important, but she's just, that's just kind of Yeah, crazy. I know, I know. She's honestly, so dumb. <laughs> Honestly, that also helps to make that final decision Peter makes where he's not trying to beat the Vulture, he's not trying to beat him up, he's not trying to win, he's trying to save him because this is no longer the Vulture, this is no longer an arms dealer, this is the girl that he likes, father. Mm -hmm. And he sees this person as someone he needs to protect from himself. Right. And just that, the, you see the desperation as he tries to reach out and stop him. Yeah, like as his suit's blown, he tries to save yeah. him, and it still blows up anyway, but he ends up saving him regardless. Yeah, he, um, he, he has the willpower to do, to, because he doesn't need the suit to save him. Yeah. Ah, oh, goodness, this movie, man. This movie is great. Good, very good. With great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> there, I said it. <laughs> yeah, there it is. There's My parents aren't dead, though. Oh, uh, boy. Bloopers are great. In yeah, it's very good. It's just good all around. I, go I, go out and see if you haven't. Honestly, I, I just want more from this movie. Like, if there were like an extended version of like four hours, I would love it. Oh boy, it probably exists somewhere. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna leave it here. Uh, it's probably a little bit lo longer, but whatever, it's fine. We tend to go on long anyway. I, oh, um, I, I will say the one negative thing that this movie left me with was like the one negative trait this really hit me with was. When is Infinity War coming out? It's coming out this weekend. I know, but it, when this movie came out, I was like, is it here yet? <laughs> and I just watched it. Is it here yet? And now the... we're less than a week away. It's coming. This movie... It'll come out very soon, so stay tuned for that. So by the time this comes out, Infinity War will already be out. Just so you know. So the more you know. And then we got one more movie of Thor Red and Rock. Go to the, the last one. right now. The last one. Anymore. And then it will start with season two. I'm going to say it now. Season two. There will be a second season. Well, so, but, but we've already watched all of the Marvel movies. What will we watch in the next season? There's more to it than that. We're gonna watch Bob's Burgers. Yeah. Yes, Bob's Burgers. I love movies. Bob's Burgers. <laughs> <laughs> Look, see, I have Gene on my socks. Oh my God, you do. That was totally <laughs> incidental. I have Halo. I love oh, Bob's Burgers. Nope. It's like my favorite black. cartoon. <laughs> black. Yeah, Fruit of the Loom. Fruit of the Loom. I actually have all the characters. But I do. I'm I wear black. Today. All right, now we're just vamping and we're talking about her socks. All right. So anyway, go to the go to the theater right now and watch Infinity War. I don't care what time it is. Go, please. It's good. It's a good movie. It's, it's gonna be like probably eleven out. We're 10. not fans. Twelve of this. out of ten. All right. Anyway, bye. Flip, 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 flip.